Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at writing an Excel formula that will return the name of a sheet into a cell. Now, one of the main functions to help us do this will be the cell function. This is a brilliant function in Excel because it allows you to return information about a cell, such as its colour, its protected status, its column number, this sort of information. And one of the bits of information you can return using the cell function is the cell's file name. And that's useful for us because that will include the sheet name. So let us start there. In cell A1 here, or well, obviously you can write this in any cell, I'm going to write this cell function and here it is, returns information about the formatting, location, contents, so on and so forth. And I'm going to ask it to return the file name. And I'm going to ask it to return the file name of cell B1. Now you can reference any cell at this point. There's nothing special about B1. Any cell will do because my ultimate goal is to find the sheet name. So any cell on this sheet, or the sheet that you want, will do the job. And as I run that, I can see it returns the full path. So I've got the sheet name on the end here, which is Chicago for this one. But I've also got the name of the workbook, I've got the, uh, the kind of folder structure that it's in, the directory. And I'm not interested in that stuff. But we're getting there. What we're now going to do is add to that formula the mid and find functions. I'm going to use the mid function so that I can uh, extract part of that string, the part I want being the sheet name, and I'm going to use the find function to find the sheet name within the string. And I'm going to use that close in square bracket as the kind of indicator as to where the sheet is. Also, I don't know how long the file name and it will be, so the sheet always appears in a different position, but if I can find that closing square bracket, the sheet name always follows it. So, let me double click on that cell, and at the start of that formula, let me do it within the cell, I'm going to add the mid function. I'm going to ask the mid function to look at that piece of text that the cell function is returning for me. It asks for a starting number, like where is the middle that you ask for? That is where the find function is going to come in. I'm going to ask this find function to find the closing square bracket. I have to wrap that in the inverted commas. Comma, where? Where are we looking for a closing square bracket? That's me copy and paste that cell function. Because whatever string that cell function is bringing back, that file name as they call it, and it begins to ask if I want to start in a particular position to look for this. I don't. I'm going to close that off. So I'm back in the mid function now. And plus one. So if you can find that closing square bracket in what the cell function tells you. And then plus one. So you go to the next character. The thing after the closing square bracket. Comma. And now how many characters from that point. I'm going to type 32, which is excessive for things like Chicago, that is seven letters. And you can see I've got other sheets at the bottom, like Miami is five and New York would be eight characters. But in a, in a realistic situation, I don't know the name of the, uh, the sheet. I believe sheet names can only be up to 31 characters or there or thereabouts. So I'm basically typing a number excessive for my needs. I'm going to close that bracket down and press enter and we have our sheet name. And if I was to copy and paste that formula to the other sheets, just to show it doing its thing, they will return a required sheet name. And a great benefit of using a formula to return that sheet name is that if somebody was to go to the Miami sheet and maybe rename it London, then our formula instantly updates with the new sheet name. So you have that dynamic, that automated uh, kind of situation going on. 
I hope you find this video tutorial useful. Please check out some of the other videos on our YouTube channel and at computergaga.com.